Hi, I'm here in downtown Tokyo, which is a fantastic town for a comic book lover like myself. Lots of anime, lots of manga, great culture, great food. But you know what? I've been a little bit concerned because we had all these kaiju attacks recently, but I have to say, now that I'm here, it looks pretty good. They cleaned it up really nicely. I guess that Jaeger program worked out after all. But my family's still a little concerned about me being here. But I said to them, hey, Tokyo has been dealing with kaiju since Godzilla. If anyone can handle the problem, it's Tokyo. Get out of the other No more cameras when you get through this door. So yeah, once the shit hit the fan, we couldn't film anymore, which I guess is often the way things go in real life, media blackout. But we got to go through anyway and experience it, so I'm gonna tell you what happened. So I'm sitting there enjoying my sushi, talking to a very nice gentleman from Japan, really dedicated talent working this, uh, really good extras, I could not get him to break character. Uh, so we're talking, and all of a sudden this guy in a hazmat suit comes out, and he's like, we're evacuating the area, we have to leave now. So all of us like are ushered into this room, which is like a tracking station, like a control room, and they have like a radiation counter, and they scan all of us. And then they have, again, great extras in here too. This Japanese scientist, this female scientist, I don't know what she's saying, she's speaking in Japanese, but they make it pretty clear we need to go in the elevator. Someone says, we're going to the roof, and I'm thinking, let's go to the basement, because Godzilla's walking around out there. But we go to the roof, uh, but we don't quite make it because the elevator malfunctions. You know what they tell you, take the stairs in these kinds of disasters. But luckily, we were able to get out on the 25th floor, which was like an architectural firm it looked like. You could see all the stuff before everybody had run out. Uh, but we were trapped there, and it was it suddenly had become a dark and stormy night out of these big picture windows with these blinds. It was raining, and you could hear something approaching. And lo and behold, it was Godzilla. And at first, we thought, okay, he missed us, because they said because we weren't filming, he couldn't spot us. Uh, but then he came back, and he looked great. He looked really awesome. I was really impressed. So uh, it was so much fun. They gave me this really sugary uh, strawberry drink, so I'm a bit of a sugar high right now. And they gave me an awesome poster, uh, which I loved. So, but I have to say, I, I'm being told that I still don't know what Godzilla looks like. This is like Godzilla in development in here. So it's very cool. But you know what? I have to say, this is a great event. It's really raising the bar for experiences here at Comic-Con. You know, The Walking Dead got the ball rolling last year with their experience. And this one definitely is in that vein, uh, if even not a step higher. I loved it. And while the time, really fast, if you're in San Diego, while the time tickets have been given out over on the internet, and they're time tickets, you can't just show up. But if you go to the legendary booth, I would suggest going there as soon as you can in the morning. They're giving away a certain amount of tickets uh, at the booth for different for times to enter here the next day. So if you go in on like say Friday, you'll get tickets for Saturday. I highly recommend it. It's fantastic. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Comic-Con. Stay tuned for more coverage.